been great to meet everyone this morning. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. 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 I don't know about you, but I'd never heard of Zoom until three months ago. Now I can spend much of each day on Zoom and I see it used constantly on the television. And I have to say that I'm encouraged that even the broadcasters come unstuck with Zoom every so often. They lose connection or the words are out of sync with the visuals or they suddenly fr Just joking. It makes me feel that I'm doing okay when I see that. But I wonder if you have that slight feeling of emptiness at the end of a Zoom meeting, even Zoom meetings with friends. It may have been a tough business meeting, or it may have been a catch up with family and friends. But at the end of it, I nearly always feel a sense of emptiness. It's not that I haven't valued seeing people, especially family and friends, but maybe that's the problem. I'm just seeing them. I'm not meeting them. I see their faces on the screen. I hear their voices through the audio. We even communicate information. But we don't meet. That may be better than nothing. It may be the best that we can do under these circumstances. And I genuinely thank God for Zoom and for platforms like that during this pandemic. But we don't meet. And we don't meet because meeting involves some kind of personal physical presence. Because we are personal physical beings. That's how God made us. And every part of us is defined by our nature. But it's something profoundly deeper than just bodies in a room. We are relational beings, designed for relationships. Relationships that are fostered by more than mere communication. Relationships that are fostered by our very presence. If we go back to the book of Genesis, the very beginning of the Bible, we find that God is, in very nature, relational. We call that relationship the Trinity, one God in three persons. At the heart of the universe is a perfect relationship, eternally present with one another. Having discovered that, we then see God creating the sky and the sea, the birds, the animals, the fish, the plants. And then God says, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. And whatever else that means, and it's rich in meaning, it assures us that we too are created for relationship. Relationships are at the heart of our very existence which is why we feel empty when we can only dabble on the edge through Zoom rather than be present, relating fully to other human beings. That's why we long for an easing of lockdown so relationships can genuinely flourish again in our lives. But in making us in his image, God also made us with the purpose of being part of the perfect relationship that is at the heart of the universe. That relationship of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. A relationship that is made real for us by God's presence with us. And just like the limitations of Zoom, we will feel an emptiness in our lives if we ignore that relationship or just dabble at the edge 
of the most glorious relationship of all. A relationship that once we have entered into it, personally, ourselves, a relationship that then deepens every other relationship in our lives. Let's pray together. Gracious Heavenly Father, you made us in your image for relationships. We thank you for the relationships that we experience here in this world. But you've also made us for the greatest relationship of all. A relationship with you, the living God, made possible through the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and made real for us by your Spirit living within us. Draw us closer to you so that we might enjoy your presence with us for the whole of eternity. Amen.